Hackers have begun to use fake ads for Microsoft Teams updates to infect computers with backdoor entry point using Cobalt Strike. Once infected, this malware strain can compromise entire networks. The attacks target organizations in several different industries, but more recently have focused on the educational sector, which is dependent on video conferencing apps due to the rise in COVID-19 restrictions. What is Cobalt Strike malware? Cobalt Strike was originally developed for ethical hackers as a threat emulation and penetration testing. But like many other cybersecurity tools, it has been compromised for malicious purposes. This platform combines social engineering, unauthorized access tools, network pattern obfuscation, and a mechanism for deploying code against victims. Hackers can also use it to initiate advanced persistent threat attacks against organizations. While Cobalt Strike is a legitimate tool used by so-called white hat hackers and carries a price tag of $3,500 per user, black hat hackers have now taken to using the trial version of Cobalt Strike and cracking its software protection to manipulate its nefarious potential. The Cobalt Strike testing toolkit is popular amongst ransomware families, dominating the threat landscape because it's stable and exceptionally adaptable. It tends to be repurposed to deploy all types of payloads. Cobalt Strike has been observed in several Ryuk ransomware campaigns, as well as cyber attacks involving ransomware such as Lockbit and Sodino Kibi. In late September of 2020, Ryuk ransomware carried out a phishing campaign using malicious documents hosted on docs-google.com, and with the aid of Cobalt Strike, managed to compromise a large company's network. Once the Ryuk ransomware deployed a Cobalt Strike beacon, it stole network admin credentials and proceeded to move laterally on the network. Cobalt Strike provides the following capabilities to cybercriminals. Reconnaissance. Cobalt Strike can determine which client-side software your target uses with version info to identify any known vulnerabilities. Attack packages. Cobalt Strike provides a social engineering attack engine and can create Trojans masked as innocent files, including Java applets, Microsoft Office documents, or Windows programs, and offers a website clone to allow drive-by downloads. Collaboration. Cobalt Team Server allows hosts to share information with a hacking group and communicate in real time as they share control of compromised systems. Post-exploitation. Cobalt Strike employs Beacon, a file dropper that deploys PowerShell scripts, logs keystrokes, records screenshots, downloads files, and executes other payloads. Covert Communication Cobalt Strike can enable attackers to modify network indicators on the fly, making it possible to load C2 profiles to appear like another actor, and egress into the victim's network using HTTP, HTTPS, DNS, or SMB protocol. According to Cisco Talos quarter two 2020 CTIR report, 66% of all ransomware attacks this quarter involved the use of Cobalt Strike. You know, as I think about the dangers that exist online, not unlike the subjects we learned about in this video, I know I feel a lot better having an anti-malware program like Spy Hunter installed in my PC, providing me the protection I need against malware, and I think you should too. Spy Hunter 5's strongest features are found in its malware repair capabilities. Spy Hunter 5's remediation algorithms dive deep into your system to remove and address complex malware issues affecting PCs today. While many anti-malware products only flag and quarantine malware and ultimately fail to fully remediate the root problem, the Spy Hunter 5 remediation algorithm detects, quarantines, and programmatically repairs malware problems on your PC. Spy Hunter 5 is a powerful PC utility that repairs malware threats in many cases where other competing anti-malware and antivirus programs may fail. To detect and remove malware for free, go to enigmasoftware.com and download Spy Hunter today. Thanks for watching. 